Okay, uh, welcome back, guys. So, uh, there's, there's some things I've saw that I need to kind of add in. For example, this part of the eye needs to be a bit deeper. So, let's block that in. So, I'm going to take down the resolution for this. Let's go on subdivision level Y. Let's figure out where that should be. So it should be somewhere around there. So I'm going to use the dem standard brush. And do that. Reduce the brush size. Okay, I'll smooth that out. Now uh, that looks a bit weird, so we need to kind of fix that. Smooth this out also. I'm going to use the pinch brush, kind of tighten this in some more and then smooth that out. need to completely almost smooth this out completely like so use the move brush get some curve to it Okay. Go to a lower solution level with the move bro selected. Try to get some height in here. I think I'd like to add some thickness also around the eye, so I'm going to use the inflate brush. So B I N. Now inflate this part some more, like so. Need a bit of thickness around there. Okay, so let's play with the light a bit more. Let's see what we have. Let me get this like so. Let's look at some uh, anatomical reference to be sure if, if we are doing that correctly. Okay. Most of what we need are in place. It's a lower subdivision level and then trans smooth this down some more.
let me check some not any reference for this let's figure out okay okay just to make sure we're doing this accurately as accurately as as accurately enough as we should so let me go on subdivision level higher so i think i'm going to use the pen to kind of show you guys what i'm doing in here so we have this we have this yellow shape around here so it's something we have around something we created around here okay then this shape in here this shape in here is what we kind of just blocks in around here let me just mark this out some more is what the blocks in around here the shape we have around here now this shape around here okay then we have this should i call it cheekbone is cheekbone is what we have is what we have around here like so coming a bit close around here something like this all right i think for the most part the shape is actually in there so we are, we are good we are good so that should be fine <clears throat> i'm just trying to get different light setup in here kind of figure out if i'm doing this correctly let's get a light down here like so let's see there's something in there we can actually fix So we can make this <clears throat> so we can <clears throat> so we can make this a bit better. And I think most of this is looking fine. All you need to do now is just to break break symmetry in there. But for the most part, I think everything looks fine. Let's just cross check again okay i think i think i need to raise this part of the eye a bit higher so with the move brush i'll just get this up a bit higher like so yeah, something like that okay let's check another angle for this okay <clears throat> with this kind of shadowing some of this shape looks a bit soft it's kind of soft on the edge so it is actually okay so if you have a lighting like this if you have a light let us kind of create some kind of diamond shape lighting for the around the eye region so something Let's see if i can capture it properly Yeah, something <clears throat> something more or less like so okay I'm just trying to make sure everything is working correctly this part looks a bit funny so let me use the clay builder brush and just build something on here then smooth that out like so yeah i think we're pretty much there okay that's fine so let's create let's um Let's create a new layer for some asymmetrical shape in there. So I need to go to the higher subdivision level for this. So in the higher subdivision level, I will create a new layer. 
and I renamed and I renamed that layer to asymmetry. So we're going to break in the symmetrical nature of this. So I'm going to I'm not going to be using I'm not going to be using this symmetry anymore on this one. I'm just going to break in the shape up a bit more. I think I'd like to start with the forehead. So let's go to the lower sub polycon for this. The standard brush. Big something around the air. Big something around the air. To make sure that is not too deep, so this is just me trying to break the symmetrical nature of this of the head now. So old out and dig in here. Old out and dig in here. Out, out, dig in here also. Yeah, as well. You can see the shape is broken up around this. Let's just go to higher subdivision level. Let's see what we have. This is not extremely obvious, but <clears throat> it's actually in this. Let's go to the mask cap gray. Yeah, I think the mask cap gray gives us a better idea. So. This is how we just gently break up, gently break up the uniformity of this character. Holding out, dig in a bit more. So I'm basically just using the standard brush now to just create some indentation in some regions. To break uniformity in here. Okay. I think I'll create some kind of the clay builder brush. Just create some more height. Some more height around here. Make sure I'm not overdoing this and I'll smooth this down some more. So we have that part a bit higher than this other part in here. So it's just subtle differences that you might not see very much, but it's actually in there. So I'm going to use the damn standard brush and create some more. No, that is way too intense. Take this down. Create some more depth around the air. So I'm gonna get this one a bit longer. Okay. Maybe we'll use the clay build up brush and kind of build up some kind of a bit of height around the air and get some more food in here. Smooth that out. Let's use the blink material that has more reflectivity to it. It's gonna give us an idea. It's gonna visualize the shape a bit more and a bit clearly in there. Need a bit more depth around here, so I'm going to use the clay build up brush and just create some depth in here. Okay, uh, the nose is perfectly symmetrical, but I don't want it to be perfectly symmetrical. So I'm going to be creating some, let me go to the lower subdivision level first. 
into creating some kind of bump on one side. Sink on this side. So I'll use the move. I use the move brush, and I'll just from the side raise this part a raise this part a bit higher, like so. So it's more or less like having this. Let me see if I can find it for the no, for the nose for the nose So you should, let me look for a call image instead. A call image should do. To give us a clear idea, general call image is in here. Okay, yes, this is call image. So we're basically trying to. Ah, oh, this is not clear enough. I think we need to use this echo chain instead. Nah, that's not showing it properly. Also, okay, yes, yeah, something like this should be fine. So you can see this bone around here. So just trying to make it make it more obvious on one side compared to the other side, which is just, which you just did in here. Kind of break to kind of break the uniformity of the nose a bit more. I think I need to make this nose a bit thicker. On this side, so with the move brush, let me turn on symmetry for this instead. So, I need a bit something a bit thicker. Okay, I get, I think we would need to, I think I'll need to use the edge polish brush instead. Each polish brush instead. So let's flatten this. <clears throat> let's flatten this part out a bit more, so we can actually see some some kind of thickness around there. Because we're looking kind of too thin, looking a bit too thin. So let's just add some measure of thickness with the edge polish brush. Maybe probably a bit more. Then smooth this side. And smooth this side a bit more so it's not too sharp. Yes, yeah, something pretty more to like this. Like a shape that continues around here. So let's no. I think I need to use the dem st standard brush instead. It's kind of do like a continuity of it all the way around here, like this. Smooth this down a bit. Why? So dem standard brush. Let's add some more an indentation around the here. Uh, Let's see what we have now. Yeah, yeah, that looks a bit better now. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, right. So we're still on breaking symmetry in here. So with the move brush selected, seeing these lips way too symmetrical. Let me just push that to the side. Get this down a bit more. Still on the move brush. No, that's a bit red. Yeah, I think I'll just leave the lips the way it is for now. We'll get back to it in a sec. But this part I need to. I'm having some weird. This is weird. Adjust the focus shifts. I 
any symmetry in here. So let me go to the lower subdivision level. So low. Take down the brush size. Kind of push this out some more. Let's see what we have. Okay. This should go slightly higher, like so. Yeah, like so should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. <clears throat> so still on breaking symmetry. Let's go to the eye. What can we actually do in here for the eye? Yeah, I think I need to make some the eye, keep the eye some lips around it. But there are no lips around this eye. So with the H polish brush, let's go to a lower poly count. So I'm just going to kind of create some some kind of edge edge around it. And do that. I think I'm supposed to do that with symmetry turned on. So let me undo all of that. Let me do that with symmetry turned on. Let's turn on symmetry for this. So with the H polish, let me solo this out first. So the H polish brush. Let's get something like so. All right. Yeah, symmetry is turned on for that. Let's do pretty much the same thing for the top also. Okay. Because it needs to have some sort of edge to it. Yes, I think that would work now. Let's go out of symmetry for this. And let's check this out properly. From another view. Oh, man. I see we didn't capture it, captured very well in here, so we would. What can we do in here? Let's take down the subdivision level with the move brush. Push this a bit closer. Get this out a bit more. Okay, I think we need a better angle to this. Go to the lower subdivision level, push this back in. I think that should be fine. That should be fine. Okay.
okay so let's break symmetry on the eye so one eye should be a, a bit close not i, I won't say close though but one, one of the eyelids should be not as symmetrical as the other one so i think on this left eyelid i'm going to raise into invert this max this out i'm going to raise this one up a bit higher so this one should be raised up a bit a bit higher like so Okay, something like this should be fine. Yeah, one more thing we need to do also. Let's just go to the to higher subdivision level for this. I make sure symmetry is turned on for this. Because this symmetry needs to be turned on because it's not really something very important that much. But we need to kind of get some shape, some shape in here. Let's get some shape in here. So I'm going to be using the clear builder brush. Let me start with this them standard brush first to kind of get some depth around here. Get some depth around here first. Then with the clear builder brush. Smooth that down. Use the clear, use the clear brush. Turn off symmetry and then just do like another pass around this. Then it's increase the damn standard brush some more. Something like that should be fine. Just come to the other side. The clay builder brush, or that maybe even with the standard brush, can build something. Let's go to a higher submission level for this. Yeah, something like that should be fine. All right, what else? What else? Oh, yeah, yeah, this lower part. Yeah, and this, okay, yes, yes, I know what to do. So, I would need something weird is happening around here, which I don't like that much. So, I'm going to use the move smooth brush with the higher smooth intensity. And I will smooth this down. Can I get something a bit cleaner around there? So I'm doing it to symmetry turn off. Also around here, also around here, let me smooth this out some more. Smooth this a bit more. So I'm doing this without turning on symmetry, so we can do this asymmetrically so one part should have a little bit of a difference than the other parts okay yes i see something i see something we can actually fix in here so let me get the pinch brush and tighten this up some more Uh, something doesn't look right around the air. With the move brush, with symmetry turned on.
No. Load this out, invert that. <clears throat> no. Okay, let's go to your subdivision level. Yeah, something like this should be fine. I just need this to be inwards a bit more. So something like this then turn off symmetry now. Then I would I'll get this down a bit more. Let me push this down a bit more. All right, something, uh, something like that should be fine, I guess. I think I pushed that down a bit too much. Let's raise that up a bit higher. Yeah, something like this should be fine. So, a broken, broken symmetry around there also. Yeah, and for this chin. Let's go to a much higher subdivision level in here. So I'm going to be using the clay builder brush. Let's start with the move brush and the, uh, I think I need to see. Okay, no, this should be fine. So the clay builder brush. No. The clay builder brush. I would like to build. Should I build instead or? Uh. Okay, smooth that out. I think my smooth intensity is way too high, so let's take that down. So breaking, just breaking symmetry in there. So let's go. To, I'm going to go to the lower subdivision level in here, and I'm going to use the standard brush, holding out. I'll just create like oh, that's way too deep. Kind of create like a, like a triangular shape around here. Kind of triangular depth around there, something like this, and I'll smooth that out a bit more. Maybe that's way too much. So let me just use the clay builder brush to build on there a bit more, smooth that out. All right. Let's do the same thing in here. I'll just create an indentation around the air. Just a gentle indentation, which is not too obvious. Something like so. And I'll gently smooth that out. So I'm breaking some broken symmetry there also. And I think I think I need to turn on symmetry for this. With the them standard brush, something a bit higher. Let's get some more depth around here. Smooth that out. With the move brush, let's extend that out like so. Then with them standard brush, go one subdivision level higher for this. Let's just create some lines around this <clears throat> so let's be a bit gentle you don't want to go overboard on this something like this should be fine then i'll take down the brush size and let's do something a bit smaller in between in between that 
it's looking like it's not there, like it's not obvious, but it's actually there. So if you go to one subdivision level higher, you should be able to see faint traces of it in there. Let's go to this is the mat cap. So with the mat cap, you can actually see that a bit more in there. Smooth that out. Click down the brush size even more and just do some more around there. Some smaller ones around there in between. Something like that should be fine. Okay. This part feels a bit weird, so let me just. <clears throat> I would like to just use the clay builder brush holding out and just create some more depth around there and just smooth that out. So going out of symmetry now, I'm just going to with the clay builder brush just create some more just a gentle variation in there. And smooth that out. Okay. With the standard brush holding out, create some indentation around here, smooth that out. Still breaking symmetry in here. on the edge create some more indentation here for that bone so much smooth that down that down so breaking symmetry however way I can on this so it doesn't look extremely symmetrical okay I think for the most part, I've done a good job breaking symmetry around, smooth that out. See, we can have some more fleshiness around here. Smooth that down. Smooth that down. All right. Okay. Yeah, I think this needs to fix. Let me smooth this out some more. I think one part of this is way too strong, so. I would like to smooth out this part some more, so it's not too intense. Probably same here around here also. Mm. 
Okay. <clears throat> I think we are done. So I think we're just going to add some. Let me just save this out. I think the next thing will be to add some skin pore detail over this and then begin to create some more wrinkle detail and some more skin pore detail to kind of make this feel feel and look more interesting so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next lesson bye for now